Anyways, continue to creating the window. So this will create OpenGL window, char pointer p title, int x, int y, and the int width, and the int height. There's no reason for them to be floats unless you want to have like 1024.5 window. I'm not sure that's even possible at all. Or is it? Is it? Or is it? All right, guys, this function is actually going to be similar. I know when you create the project, if you actually did not, um, if you actually grabbed the Windows 32 application, not the console, I'm not sure if the console will create it for you, but I don't think so. But if you do the Win32 project instead instead of the console project, and you do not have it, you do not check uh, the box for empty project, this class will be created for you. So I apologize if it's going to be long. I'll speed it up in this section so you guys won't have to see like the boring part. Or you could be slick, create a different project, and make sure it's a Win32 project, and and you just copy and paste the class and then you start deleting the stuff that you need and make it work with mine, you know? But it's up to you guys, I don't know. I probably wouldn't suggest to do that. I wanna suggest for you guys to do that. But it's up to you, I'm gonna speed up this section. You could pause it if you want or whatever. But, so let's start. So now we're going to create a temporary window for OpenGL extension setup. Thing is, I should have created the engine class first. Uh -huh, I'm confuse you guys right now. Okay, let's just create this next five lines and we're going to create the other. The other class that we're gonna need, I messed up on you guys, and I apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Look at HWD. You're gonna create the window X. Windows X. I guess it's the X of the window. Or the, or the mail window. What? What am I talking about? The app window. You're gonna put the P title. WS pop up oh no wait we didn't need another p title and it's gonna be the ws pop up we can instead of zero zero six forty zero which will be this the size of the window but since it's temporary it doesn't really matter Actually, you know what? I'll test it out afterwards. I'm not sure if you can pass. So you do that, which I don't know why. Oh, I forgot something else. There's another parameter in here. Make sure you actually initialize it correctly. 
And if H W and B equals null, you're going to print out another message box. Call it null. And then you're going to create window X failed. Cannot create window. And it's going to be an error. And then put the MB OK. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And then you return false. And then we want to show the window real quick. And uh, if it actually initialized it correctly, we're going to, we want to show the window just for a couple of seconds, probably milliseconds, because you will probably you won't even see it. And I know because I tested it out already. So, anyways, I'll stop it here, and we can uh, create the other engine class. I apologize, I just went ahead of myself and apologize. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I keep creating mistakes, and I apologize, but it's not that bad, guys. So, what we're gonna do next is gonna create the engine class. We you know I'll leave that to the next tutorial. I went a little bit ahead of myself in my framework, but at least we started already, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. I hope you guys thumbs up this video. So that will really help me out here, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll sing a song next time. I'm terrible. I could play the guitar or something. Just for you guys. Um. So yeah, I'll end the video now and I hope to, to see you in the next tutorial. So, see you guys. Signing out.